Quentin is designing a chemical refining process for landfill gas delivery. The landfill gas consists of 49% methane on a dry volume basis and has a heating value of 475 BTU per standard cubic foot. Using a separation process to remove the non-BTU gases, the product will consist of 91% methane. To adjust for commercial pipeline use, the product gas is to be enriched with propane. How much will Quentin need to enrich the product gas in order to make it suitable for pipeline delivery? Is it A, 4%, B, 8%, C, 12%, or D, 16%? Pause the video and take five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you have the correct answer. Today we will briefly discuss landfill gas. Landfill gas is a complex mix of different gases created by the action of microorganisms within a landfill. Landfill gas is approximately 40 to 60 percent methane with the remainder being mostly carbon dioxide. Trace amounts of other volatile organic compounds comprise the remainder. These trace gases include a large array of species, mainly simple hydrocarbons. Landfill gases are the result of three processes, evaporation of volatile organic compounds, chemical reactions between waste components, and microbial action. The first two depend strongly on the nature of the waste. The dominant process in most landfills is the third process, whereby anaerobic bacteria decompose organic waste to produce biogas, which consists of methane and carbon dioxide together with traces of other compounds. Despite the heterogeneity of waste, the evolution of gases follow well-defined kinetic patterns. Formation of methane and carbon dioxide commences about six months after depositing the landfill material. The gases produced within a landfill can be collected and used in various ways. The landfill gas can be utilized directly on site by a boiler or any type of combustion system, providing heat. Electricity can also be generated on site through the use of micro turbines, steam turbines, or fuel cells. The landfill gas can also be sold off site and sent into natural gas pipelines. This approach requires the gas to be processed into pipeline quality, for example, by removing various contaminants and components and or enriching it to allow for efficient delivery to businesses and households. In this problem, we have some landfill gas that is concentrated, then enriched to allow for pipeline delivery. So first, let's solve for the heating value of the newly concentrated landfill gas. The gas directly out of the landfill has a heating value of 475 BTU per standard cubic foot at a percentage of 49%, while the refined gas will have a methane concentration of 91%. We can simply do a ratio between the two gases and we get a heating value of 882.14 BTU per standard cubic foot. Now that we have the heating value of the concentrated landfill gas, we can calculate what percentage of propane we must enrich the landfill gas with to get a heating value of 1000 BTU per standard cubic foot. So we are solving for two unknowns the percentages of both the methane and propane that will make up the pipeline gas. So the first equation we can come up with is the following, where M equals the methane percentage and P equals the propane percentage. We have two unknowns, so we need two equations to solve for both. Additionally, we know that the addition of both percentages of methane and propane equals one. So the second equation is the following. We are looking for the percentage of the propane enrichment, so let's solve for P. And we get P equals 0 0.077, which equals 7.7%, which is closest to B. Join us for episode 25 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.